Hello and welcome to the introductory audio programming C++ course. This course is designed for people wishing to learn C++ and to make it more enjoyable we do this by building musical applications. These videos are posted here mainly to support the students studying the audio music technology courses at the University of the West of England. However, the videos are applicable to anyone wishing to learn C++. In this video we are going to look at getting started, downloading the project and writing our first application in C++. To get started, simply hit the clonal download button and hit download zip. Please note if you're a Windows user, please follow the getting started guide here to download a specific version of this project. Once you've downloaded the project, unzip it and inside you'll find the following folders. Firstly, we will go inside the applications folder. The two main apps that we'll be using on this course are Acerv, which is our audio server and Codebook, which we're going to be used to saving files. Inside the IAP Proj folder is where the actual project is. To get to that, open the IAP Proj folder, open builds, open the Mac OS X folder. To get started, double click on this file. Please note if you're a university student, Xcode will already be installed on your lab machine. However, if you're working from home, you will first need to download and install Xcode. This may not appear on your machine when you first start. You need to open up this triangle icon at the top here on the, right, on the left hand side and follow the drop down until you find the IAP.h and the IAP.cpp files. For this exercise, we're only going to be writing in the IAP.cpp file. Please note we don't have a main function at the moment, and we're going to write all our code inside this uh, run function. We will explain in later videos why we have a run function and why we don't have a main function. So please rest assured that that will be covered in a later video. But for now, we're going to write our first C++ program. To do that, we're going to type std followed by the two colons, followed by cout. This command is used to print text to the terminal window, which is down here. And to print text, we essentially we write this command followed by two less than symbols. And then any text we want to write, we write inside quotation marks. So for example, I'm going to write, hello world, followed by an exclamation mark. And then I'm going to write a special character called backslash n. And what this is going to do is it's going to print the text, hello world, and then, make sure, and then insert a new line character. Now, you'll see, an, you'll see a warning already, and that is expected semicolon after expression. It's one you should get used to seeing because uh, you always need to put a semicolon after um, a line of code. There's a couple lines of code that you don't need a semicolon for, but for now, just make sure you've got a semicolon there. Okay, now if we hit run up here, um, our program will run. And the text that we, the text that we wrote here has now appeared uh, down here. So congratulations, you've just written your first program in C++.